Sports coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Today, we've got a good matchup in store between the Seattle Mariners and the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. It's baseball on MLB Network, and it's coming up next. Shohei Otani is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for the Angels. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, we're going to get a chance to look at a guy that uh, he was a little bit up and down throughout points of his career. A career ERA just over four. When he's good, he can be really good. And when he's bad, well, let's just say he can be pretty bad at times. But it'll be interesting to we see which one we see. He's a little bit of Jekyll and Hyde. Hopefully he's going to be a little bit more Jekyll than Hyde in this one here today. J.P. Crawford is in to start things off here as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. First pitch, one o'clock. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. Our temperature at first pitch and even 70 degrees here this afternoon. One and two, the count to the Mariners shortstop. Yeah, guys, he's got so much respect for this guy's fastball, you could tell he was out in front on that slider. I think he goes to the well one more time with that pitch. Still a ball and two strikes. Ready to deliver the one and two. Here's a fly ball well hit. Back goes Fowler to the track. On the warning track, he makes the catch. And here's a look at the starting lineup for the visiting Seattle Mariners. Danny, who stands out to you? Well, I love what Kyle Singer brings to the table for this team. The guy is in the middle of the lineup, and when he's in the middle, things just happen. The guys in front of him get on, he drives them in, and if not, he has the ability to get things started and set the guys up behind him. He's a force. Now the first pitch. Dylan Moore comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. Hey, when you're featuring a mid-90s fastball like this pitcher, attack with that pitch. Get ahead. Get the offense on their toes. That opens up the off-speed pitches later in the game. Fooled with the curveball there, and it's strike two. Time for a look at our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Patrick Johnson. Yeah, Dan, we got Patrick Johnson behind the dish tonight. Fairly standard strike zone most of the time, but he's definitely a pitcher's umpire. I, I always felt like this. He's He'll give a little bit on the corners, both inside and outside. I think he's a fair umpire, but I would rate him more as a pitcher's umpire than a hitter's umpire. He throws him on the break ball that time. Tim Moore goes down for out number two in the top half. Standing in now, Kyle Lewis. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Good pitch down below the zone to go ahead. He throws right high 80s down the zone. Looks at fastball and boom, the bottom falls out of it. Terrific pitch. Bases are empty here with two men out. Hit down the line at first, but this will wind up foul. Still 0-2. And they'll try to bounce a curveball on 0-2, but he holds back. It's 1-2 and now. And a half-hearted swing there as they tie him up inside for the third strike, and the inning is over. Mariners are down in order. M's nothing. Angels coming up. Just settling in on MLB Network. Marco Gonzalez, the native of Colorado, gets the start on the mound. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, this guy has a four-pitch repertoire, right? And those are a lot of nice options to have. You can go hard soft. You can go in and out. And any time you have four pitches, if you can throw them for strikes, you have the big advantage. Ready now is David Fletcher. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. 
the second baseman. Jake Pitch on the way. Fletcher. As the sinker to him finds the zone for strike one. Lifetime in this matchup, he has nine base hits in 28 tries. He's taken him deep once. And a hanger as he gives this one a pretty good ride out to deep center. And he's going to have room to put this one away, and that's the first out. Batting second. The first base. Well, here's a look now at the Angels starting lineup. Dan, who do we keep an eye on? Look, Matt, everybody should be looking at the guy in the three spot. This guy is one of three American League silver sluggers in the outfield. You know how many outfielders there are in the league? A lot. And he walked away with one of the silver sluggers. This man can hit. Now at the plate, here is Jared Walsh. First pitch on the way. Pitch to the plate as a sinker for a called strike one. The offensive game plan today is certainly to see the ball up. This guy is known on the mound for sinker changeup combination. He's going to try and establish down in the zone to get swing and a miss or ground balls consistently. You have to find something above the belt to get loose on. Looks like he swung it underwater that time for strike two. Hey, this pitcher better be careful right here. My man at the plate is not trying to push something to the opposite field. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Boy, there's the perfect pitch right there, the straight changeup. He hadn't that used it hurt. yet in this at that, and no what does he do? Field. He uses it, pulls the string, and gets the big wow. strikeout. And that'll bring Mike Trout to the dish. And a swing from him yields a foul pop out of play to the right. First cuts for him here with the bases open and two away. Another one fouled off and he's quickly behind. Nothing in two count and the pitch. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes and that will retire the side. Angels go down one, two, three and this is still a nothing, nothing ballgame. New inning set to get underway and that'll give way to the third baseman, Kyle Seeger. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Hey, love the pitcher attacking the zone right here. He knows he's got a patient hitter at the plate. Might as well steal that first strike. The windup and the 0-1. Down the left field line and deep. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. Some guys with big arms like this, they're just chunkers. They just throw the ball as hard as they can, and where it ends up isn't that big of a concern, but that wasn't the case there. That was a very well-pitched fastball right on the corner at the knees. Good luck hitting that one. Stepping in now is Mitch Hanniger as he'll look at a breaking ball that misses for ball one. One oh home. That fastball was a lively one. You could hear the pop of the glove all the way up here. Hey, I admit I'm a little biased. There's nothing better than that pop of a glove on a good fastball. Looking forward to hearing a lot more of that pop the rest of this one. A ball and two strikes to Mitch Hanniger. Here comes the one two. This is in the air out to right. Fowler has a read on it. And that's the second out of the inning. That is it. The designated hitter. Ty Prince. 
So here now is Ty France. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. First offering on its way as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. No score here as we play inning number two. Outside for a ball one and one. And that misses two and one. Uh, could have been three and one. Instead, it's two and two. Even a two and two. The pitch. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. One, two, three, go the Mariners. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Now with the plate is Anthony Rendon for his career in this matchup. The pitcher zoned him. He's a paltry one for 11. Here's the pitch. Ready with the 2nd throw to first is in time for the first down all right guys here's Seattle's defensive alignment and the guy manning shortstop today is JP Crawford this guy he doesn't have the quickest feet in the game but he has unbelievable range a strong arm and very very quick hands and he is just the start of the new wave of the next line of great shortstops. Here's Albert now. Swing and a ball lifted in the air toward the line and right. Hanniger in pursuit, and that's in there. Base hit. The throw into second. But the throw is offline, and he's in there with two bases. Wow, this is a perfect example of a Wiley veteran doing what needs to be done to deliver for his team. Yeah, just watch this swing. Instead of trying to do too much with it and pull it, he stays inside the ball and is able to smack it to the opposite field for a double. Here's Justin Upton now. As he sends a soft bouncer to the right side of the infield. Throw on to first, two gone. Tried to make it home when he shouldn't have, and now they've got him hung up. And he'll try to get back now, but it's not going to work. The throw hangs him out to dry, and that'll end the inning. One hit in the inning, but no one left. We played two full, and we are tied nothing, nothing. Stepping up is Jose Marmolejos. He's the number seven hitter, but he's leading off the third after the first six guys in the lineup have been retired in order. Yeah, it's been a great start to the guy on the mound. It'll be interesting to see if they can find a way to get to this guy before he really settles in. The pitch. The offense better get it going right here because they certainly can tell from their dugout this guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's got feel for all his pitches. And here's a curveball in the dirt that time for a ball. One and one. Just behind the fastball there. Two strikes now. His heater's got some late ride through the zone. A lot of late swings right now. You're only going to get to that pitch if you get the front foot down early. 
Look out. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. Fouled off. And another foul ball. Swing and a miss as he starts the third the same way he ended the second with a punch out, one away. That was a good job there of using the batter's aggressiveness against him. He was putting up a good fight and fouling a lot of balls off. So as a pitcher, it's a great idea to expand the zone even more and make the hitter really chase after something that's even hard to foul off. Evan White is next. He finds himself behind 0-1. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for ball. Third inning, no score to this point. And a curveball's by him that time as he falls behind now one and two. Man, this pitcher is on right now, pounding the zone, attacking these hitters. He's making it look easy. Here he comes again, one, two. And a swing and a miss, and another punch out here. Six already, and that's out number two. Two up, two down on strikes in this inning. He looks really sharp out there, guys. Into the box now, Luis Torrens. As the first pitch to him is taken low and away for ball one. Two outs already on the K this inning, so he'll be looking to do better. And he fouls this one off. Two out, nobody on. Hit in the air to straightaway center. Trout has a read on it. No problem with this one, and the inning is over. Mariners are down in order. Home half of the third coming up. No score. So now into the box is Max Stassi. His career numbers against this pitcher. He comes in hitting right at a 300. Clip. Two of those hits were for home runs. First pitch on its way. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty at strike one. Set to deliver the 0-1. Swings through it for strike number two. Pitcher's got options here. He looked a little bit out front. Might be able to rush a fastball by him. Now a swing and he pops him up. This is right out in front of the mound. And one away now here in the Angel third. Batting it. The shortstop. Okay. Next up, Jose Iglesias. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Hit in the air down the right field line. Waiting on it is Henniger. And that's the second of the inning. So next to hit is Dexter Fowler as the switch hitter will bat right handed here. First pitch of the AB on its way. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. And indeed it will. He throws him out at first and the side is retired. Angels are gone in order. We'll head to the fourth, still scoreless. That'll bring in J.P. Crawford. He'll look to get something going here in this scoreless ball game. From the belt, the pitch. And he pours this one in at the letters, 0-1. That elevated fastball right there, 
That is the biggest change in the game today for me. When I first came up, a lot of guys working at Greg Maddox east to west. As a look, now the pitch. Hit softly down the line at first. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. Now it'll be Dylan Moore. And a chance they walk him here to set up a double play that will keep the game tied. First offering on its way. Here's a strike with the breaking ball. This is a situation where you're going strictly for the strikeout. Infield in, and from the offensive standpoint, you're just trying to create hard contact and get it by that infield. Here comes the nothing and two pitch. And a swing and a miss. He struck him out. And a big out there as the go-ahead run stays at third with two gone now. Well, their chances of pushing across a run took a pretty good hit after that strikeout. It's so much tougher to score a guy from third with two outs instead of one. Basically, you need a hit, or you need to get lucky with a wild pitch or a pass ball. In now, Kyle Lewis, as he rips it on the ground to second. Throw in time, and the side is retired. One left for Seattle. On to the bottom of the fourth now, still with no score. Will come on now and pinch now run here. Number three. So the batting order turns over now and, and set to go. David Fletcher. And he's got a chance to bring in the winning run. Question is whether they'll even pitch to him. First delivery to him. Now a line drive into right field. It's a base hit. Ward is on his way home. And the Angels are going to walk off. This game looked like it was going to be one of those wild ones right from the beginning. When you could win this thing in walk-off fashion, what a way to win a ball game. A walk-off win? A single run good enough to do it today. 1-0 the final score. The Angels took the lead in the fourth and held on until the end. Shohei Otani takes home the win. Marco Gonzalez worked only three innings in the losing effort. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Ivy Watney down on the field, and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. Thanks for watching MLB Network.